A state representative who filed an ethics complaint against Fulton County Commissioner Marvin Arrington is upset that the board dismissed the complaint without listening to jailhouse recordings involving Arrington and an inmate. Yeah, Arrington was representing a man charged with stalking Representative Misha Maynard. A senior I-team reporter Del Russell obtained those jailhouse recordings through an open records request and has the conversations the ethics board never heard. You didn't think it was going to be over? I did not. I State Representative Misha Maynard couldn't year. believe the Fulton County Ethics Board dismissed her complaint against Fulton County Commissioner Marvin Arrington without listening to jailhouse phone calls that included Arrington. So the case has been dismissed. The case has been dismissed without hearing any of the evidence. Maynard filed the ethics and a state bar complaint back in November, alleging that Arrington had a conflict of interest when he defends criminal cases for profit against the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, which he oversees as commissioner. Arrington was at the time representing Corwin Monson, who was charged with aggravated stalking of Maynard. In her complaint, Maynard claimed Arrington negotiates directly with District Attorney Paul Howard, abusing his commissioner power and using his office for personal gain. You cannot be overseeing prosecutors and in the same courtroom while you're overseeing those same prosecutors that you work with every day, you're just 10 feet away also being a criminal defense attorney. Arrington is no longer on the case. He did not respond to our repeated efforts for comment. Arrington is quoted in Atlanta Progressive News as saying he was completely shocked to learn of ethics and bar complaints and stated both claims are completely frivolous. Last week, the Fulton County Ethics Board dismissed the case against Arrington during a meeting. Representative Maynor asked them to listen to jailhouse recordings she had of Arrington talking about the case, but the board decided not to because they had concerns that the conversations would be protected by attorney-client privilege. We're working on trying to get it done. But we have heard them. We obtained the phone calls from the Fulton County DA's office under a Georgia Open Records request. We aired them earlier this year. The problem is the judge. And some of the calls, Arrington is talking to his client, Corwin Monson, and Monson's wife. Arrington said he can negotiate a plea with then District Attorney Paul Howard for a misdemeanor charge, but he was worried about the judge. Because I can get the DA's office to agree to the misdemeanor plea. But she might not accept it. What we didn't hear at the time was Arrington explaining why he worked directly with then District Attorney Paul Howard and not assistant prosecutors. She said because I'm a commissioner for Fulton County, I'm using, I'm trying to influence Paul Howard. Uh, and, uh, you know, I went straight to Paul Howard. Uh, yeah, I sure did. Arrington said he did that because Paul Howard was the only one who could make decisions. And in fact, in Fulton County, the DAs don't have the authority to do anything. They all have to go to Paul Howard. So why would I, why would I go to them when I know I got to go see him at the end of the day anyway? Ethics board members told me they knew there were three people on the call, but out of an abundance of caution decided not to risk violating any attorney-client privilege. The presence of the wife on the call essentially destroys the privilege because now it is not a confidential communication between the client and their attorney. Georgia State so University case, law professor Jessica Sino says Representative Maynard's concern that the jailhouse tapes be heard is valid. She thinks it might have been best for the ethics board to ask a judge to decide the issue. Unfortunately, in a lot of these circumstances, there is a he said, she said component, and this evidence would corroborate the she said side of it. Representative Maynard says she would be happy if the board takes the attorney client question to a judge to decide. Please do. Why didn't you instead of closing the case? Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.